we build the F-16 uh, entirely here in Fort Worth, Texas. We also build the center uh, fuselage of the F-22, and we'll be producing the, uh, the F-35, both the wing uh, as well as the forward fuselage, but we'll be assembling uh, the other two parts, the center fuselage and the aft fuselage, and, and we'll be doing the flight checkout of the airplane here in Fort Worth. And on the one mile long factory here, we assemble the F-35. When we do go to final checkout in the flight, uh, in the flight checkout, it's gonna be done here on the flight line. We'll fly out of Naval Air Station, Fort Worth. We'll do what we call the uh, performance final checkout uh, of it uh, to see that the aircraft is up to specifications before we turn it over to, to the U.S. government and our partner countries uh, for flights. Uh, to incorporation in their respective air forces. Right now we're, we're in the uh, SDD, uh, which is the research and development portion of, of the program. We'll build 19 different aircraft here in, in Fort Worth. We'll be doing a, a variety of durability tests, uh, flight tests where we do the basic flight characteristics of the airplane, and we'll be qualifying the mission systems, which is all the high-tech uh, avionics on the airplane, as well as the weapons here as it reaches initial operating capability. Because of these different uh, uh, stations, using lasers, using computers and alignment, as well as that digital thread where the tolerances are preserved, we're able to put together those parts in a fraction amount of time as we did in the F-16. For the U.S. Marine Corps, they'll be the first to reach that uh, initial operating capability, and that will be in 2012. Uh, for the U.S. Air Force, that will be in 2013, and the U.S. Navy will 2015.